Hello viewers, welcome to my channel, I am Hashem Ali Khan. Last video I have given the complete explanation regarding the perquisites which are taxable in the hands of all employees. All 12 or 13 examples I have explained regarding those perquisites which are fully taxable in the hands of all employees. Now in this video I am going to solve some problems. I have already given the worksheet of the problems in the link under my description. In this uh, problem, up to 8 problems are on rent-free accommodation, RFA. And already 8 problems I have completed in the previous videos. That is problems on rent-free accommodation. Already 8 problems we have completed. Now in this video, the remaining problems from 9th to 13th I am going to solve. So concentrate and watch the video till the end to get the complete command on perquisites. If you have watched these videos, definitely you don't find any difficulty while solving the main problems on income from salary and assessment of individuals because all provisions are there. The problems are based on the provi on these uh, provisions what we are studying right now. So don't ignore these videos, watch till the end. So these problems 9th to 13th, these problems are on interest-free loan or loan given by the employer at concessional rate to the employee. And that is a taxable perquisite in the hands of all employees. So I hope all my viewers have a printout of the problems which are given in the link under my description. Always keep it ready. Now take a screenshot of the problems, uh, solution of the problems from 9th to 13th, then I'll explain all the problems. Come on, see the ninth one, <clears throat> problem number 9. Compute the value of perquisite for interest-free loan taken by the employee from the employer. Here cases are given first 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 cases are given. In each case we have to find out what is the value of the perquisite for interest-free loan given by the employer to the employee. It's a taxable perquisite, interest-free loan and concession in the matter of interest. That's a taxable perquisite. Now, how to find out uh, the value of the perquisite? We have to take the rate of interest charged by SBI on its lending activities. And that rate of interest of SBI will be given in the problem. Different rates of interest charged by SBI for car loan, for housing loan, for education loan, for personal loan, all these rates of interest will be given in the problem. Simply you have to decide which rate of interest to be applied. So here, uh, compute the value of perquisite for the interest free loan taken by the employee from the employer. First one, he availed a housing loan of 10 lakh, rupees 10 lakh, the outstanding amount is 6 lakh 80,000. Remember, value of perquisite will be calculated not on the loan amount, but on the outstanding loan amount. The amount outstanding on that interest will be charged. So here 10 lakh rupees was the loan, but outstanding loan amount is 6 lakh 80,000. So interest will be charged on 6 lakh 80,000. Which is the loan? It's a housing loan. The housing loan, what is the rate of interest charged by SBI? Last line it is given. Interest rates charged by SBI, housing loan 7.3%, educational loan 10.55%, personal loan 12.05% and car loan 9.8%. So all the percentages charged by SBI are given. Now we have to select. In the first case, it's a housing loan. So what is the rate of interest of SBI for housing loan? 7.3%. So here you can see the solution. Computation of value of perquisite for interest free loan taken by employee from employer. Housing loan. Outstanding amount 6 lakh 80,000. Don't take the loan amount. Take the outstanding amount. 6 lakh 80, Value of perk is 6 lakh 80,000 into 7.3%. 7.3% is the interest charged by SBI on housing loan. So amount value of perquisite is 49,640. First case completed. Now second case you can see, 
uh, he availed medical loan for the prescribed ailment in an approved hospital for the treatment of his wife 7 lakh. Previous last video I have explained you. When a loan is taken from the employer for medical treatment in an approved hospital either for the uh, treatment of employee or the family member of the employee it's a tax free perquisite. So interest will not be charged. That means perquisite value will not be there. Nil. Value of perquisite nil. If the loan is taken for medical treatment incurred in a recognized hospital on the family member, on the own employee or family member. So here the person has availed a medical loan for prescribed ailment in an approved hospital for his wife. So it's a tax free perquisite. So here medical loan for the prescribed ailment in an approved hospital for treatment of his wife 7 lakh value of perk. Nil. Third case, he availed a car loan of 3 lakh. For car loan, the rate of interest is 9.8% given in the problem. 3 lakh rupees loan amount, 9.8 is the rate of interest charged by SBI. So value of perquisite is 29,400. 3 lakh into 9.8%. Next, third one, uh, fourth one. He has he availed a cloth loan of 10,000 rupees. An educational loan of 4,000 rupees. See, he has taken a cloth loan of 10,000, educational loan of 4,000. In the previous video, I told you the value of the perquisite is nil for petty loans taken from the employer. So what is petty loan? The loan, the loan amount or the aggregate of all loan amount comes to 20,000. If the loan amount of all the loans come together comes to 20,000, it is called petty loan. The value of the perquisite is nil. So here he has taken a cloth loan, 10,000, educational loan, 4,000, total 14,000. It is less than 20,000. It's a petty loan. So value of the perquisite is nil. Cloth loan 10,000, educational loan 4,000, loan amount is less than 20,000, hence perquisite value is nil. That's it. This is the ninth problem. Now, see the tenth problem. Mr. Hari Shankar is working in a limited company. During the previous year, relevant to the current assessment year, he took a housing loan of 5 lakh at 5%. Here, concession. Uh, the SSC, the employee, Mr. Ravi Shankar, has taken a loan from the employer of 5 lakh rupees, housing loan, and the employer is charging the rate of interest 5%. Whereas the entire amount is still outstanding, then he interest rate charged by SBI is 7.3% given in the problem. The rate of interest on housing loan charged by SBI is 7.3%, whereas employer is charging 5%. That means there is a concession in the rate of interest and that is the value of the perquisite. So how to calculate the value here I am showing. Housing loan taken 5 lakh. Entire amount is outstanding, nothing is repaid. The loan taken from employer at 5%, not interest free loan, but concessional rate of interest. Rate charged by SBI is 7.3%. So concession in rate of interest. So SBI rate 7.3%, employer rate 5%. So concession is 2.3%. So value of the perquisite is 5 lakh rupees into 2.3%. 11,500 is the value of the perquisite which is taxable in the hands of the employee. Next, 11th problem. Mr. Bola Shankar is working in Andhra Bank and he, uh, he availed a housing loan of 37,50,000 at 5.5%. The outstanding amount is 13,50,000. Interest charged by SBI 7.3%. Exactly similar. The only thing is here, concessional rate. SBI is charging housing loan interest 7.3%. Whereas our employee is, has taken a loan from employer, uh, 37,50,000 loan he has taken, but he has already repaid a uh, large part of the amount. Only a small amount is left outstanding. The outstanding amount is 30,50,000. So interest will be calculated on the outstanding amount, 30,50,000. How much rate of interest charged by employer? It is 5.5%. SBI, 7.3%. So we can find out the concession in rate of interest. 7.3 minus 5.5. 5. 
Mr. Bola Shankar, housing loan taken 37,50,000, outstanding amount is 13,50,000. So we are not concerned with 37,50,000, we are concerned with 13,50,000. Rate of interest charged by employer 5.5, rate of interest by SBI 7.3. Concession in rate of interest 7.3 minus 5.5, 1.8% is the concession. The value of the perquisite 13 lakh 50,000 into 1.8%, 24,300. This is the value of the perquisite taxable in the hands of the employee. Next, 12th. Mr. Kalyan Singh is working in a limited company for the last 18 years. Loan of 78 lakh rupees at 3% is granted for purchasing a house by the employer. Again, housing loan, 78 lakh rupees housing loan and the employer is charging 3% rate of interest. Calculate the value of the purchase in the following situations. The three different situations are given. A. If the loan is granted to Kalyan Singh, who is Kalyan Singh? Employee. The loan is given by the company, by the employer to Mr. Kalyan Singh. It is fully taxable for present. If the loan is granted to Kalyan Singh's son, Kalyan Singh's son is a family member. So, perquisite is taxable when the loan is given either to the employee or their family members. So, even if the loan is given to Kalyan Singh's son, it's a taxable perquisite in the hands of Kalyan Singh. Then if the loan is granted to Kalyan Singh's friend, actually friend does not come within the ambit of family members. So when loan is given uh, to Kalyan Singh's friend, it is not a taxable perquisite in the hands of Kalyan Singh. Kalyan Singh is, num Kalyan Singh is not at all uh, considered because loan is not given to Kalyan Singh or family member. It is given to friend of Kalyan Singh. Interest charged by SBI 7.3% on housing loan. So here, Mr. Kalyan Singh, housing loan taken 78 lakh, rate of interest charged by employer 3%, interest charged by SBI 7.3%. So concession in interest rate 7.3 minus 3, 4.3% is the concession in interest rate. Now, one by one we can discuss. A. If the loan is granted to Mr. Kalyan Singh, employee, Value of the perquisite 78 lakh into 4.3 percent, 3 lakh 35,400 is the value of the perquisite in the hands of Kalyan Singh. A case completed. B. If the loan is granted to Kalyan Singh's son, whether the loan is given to Kalyan Singh or whether the loan is given to Kalyan Singh's son, in both the cases, the value of the perquisite remains same, 3 lakh 35,000. And this 3,35,000 will be included in the income of Kalyan Singh. Then if the loan is granted to Kalyan Singh's friend, the value of the perquisite is nil for Kalyan Singh. This is because a friend is not a family member as per the definition given by IT rules. That's it. So this is the end of 12th problem. Now last and final problem, problem number 13. Calculate the perquisite value in the following situations if the loan amount is given by the employer. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 different cases are given. In each case, we have to find out what is the value of the perquisite for loan taken from the employer. First case, rupees 1,50,000 for purchasing gold ornaments. The employee has taken 1,50,000 loan from the employer for purchasing gold ornaments. Gold ornaments. The Income Tax Act says it's a personal loan. When a loan is taken for purchasing gold ornaments, it's a uh, personal loan. And the rate of interest charge on personal loan is given in the last line. Interest charge by SBI for personal loan 12.05% and car loan 9.8% specifically given in the last line. So personal loan 12.05%. Calculation of value of perquisite. Loan amount is 1,50,000 for purchasing gold ornaments. Interest charged by SBI and personal loan 12.05%. 12 so value of perk is 1,50,000 into 12.05. 18,075. This is the value of the perk. First case over. Second. Rupees 2 lakh at the rate of 8 percent for purchasing furniture. Loan taken for purchasing furniture. Again, it's a personal loan. Again, it's a personal loan. 
rate of interest charged by SBI 12.05 but here employee is charging 8% so there is a concession in the rate of interest 12.05 minus 8 4.05 rupees 2 lakh loan taken at 8% for purchasing furniture concession in rate of interest 12.05 minus 8 4.05 so value of the purchase 2 lakh into 4.05 8100 that's it Next, third one, rupees 350,000 for purchasing the car. That means the loan is taken to purchase the car. And the rate of interest for car loan is 9.8%. So 350,000 into 9.8%. So rupees 350,000 for purchasing car. Interest on car loan charged by SBA 9.8. Value of per 350,000 into 9.8, 34,300. Three cases sold. Fourth case, Rupees 1 lakh at 10% for medical treatment of an approved disease. When the employee has taken a loan from the employer for medical treatment of an approved disease, it's a tax free perquisite. The value of the perquisite is nil. Rupees 1 lakh at 10% for medical treatment of an approved disease, the value of the perquisite is nil. Nothing is taxable. Next one is rupees 2,50,000 interest free loan for daughter's marriage. The employee has taken a loan from employer for daughter's marriage. Again, personal loan interest will apply. The personal rate, personal loan interest rate is 12.05%. So rupees 2,50,000 interest free loan for daughter's marriage. Rate of interest for personal loan 12.05. The so value of perk 2,50,000 into 12.05, 30,125. Last and final, repair to house 3,60,000. Actually for purchasing the house, house loan, it will be called house loan. For repairing the house, it is not called housing loan. It is called personal loan. Personal loan. So what is the rate of personal loan? 12.05. The so loan taken is 3,60,000. 3,60,000 into 12.05. That is the value of the perk. Loan taken to repair the house 3,60,000. Rate of interest for personal loan 12.05. Value of per 3,60,000 into 12.05 43,380. That's all. This is the value of the purchase. So, all the problems which I have given in the worksheet completed. Up to 8 problems are RFA, rent free accommodation. From 9th problem to 13th problem, all the problems are on interest free loan. These are only short problems to make you acquainted, perfect on the provisions of IT Act on these perquisites. Later on, while doing the main problems on income from salary, all these points will arise. So you should be in a position to decide how much to be calculated as the value of the perquisite. That's all. So we have completed the problems. Inshallah, we will continue the next topic that is uh, perquisites taxable in specified cases in the next video.